everybody going live <laughs> how y'all doing out there in quarantine land i hope you're doing well we've been hanging out there sorry I didn't make it last sunday i was just under the weather man i had a back spasm or something it just it just felt like somebody had crunched me just just crunched me and my back was crunched now it's all better so <laughs> thanks for your concern out there got got a couple of nice messages and home remedies and just can tell the, the community's taking care of its own oh, i want to do this quick so i can have my camera synced up and it, plus i just love doing this so Cost me five bucks. I want to get all my use out of it. I can. Gosh dang it. <laughs> well, let's do. Let's do. This is a song I often start with, with the band. Oh, speaking of the band, I've been talking to all the guys. Uh, mostly Tommy and I. Tommy and I have been actually uh, exchanging music over the over back and forth over the internet, putting some songs together. So that's cool. And uh, Bird, uh, who doesn't get on the Facebook at all, and and doesn't get on the internet very much. But he did tell me to tell everybody that he's doing well, he's safe and sound, snug as a bug in a rug, and and uh, hanging out and hanging loose and uh, wishing he could be gigging again, going crazy like the rest of us. So um, everything's fine. Everything's fine in Birdville, and uh, there are no worries. And uh, he's just uh, hanging out and doing his thing. And he'll be watching this later on replay. He goes on and watches it on uh BillyBourbonMusic.com. Now, if you didn't get to the to the live version here, and you can't find it later on Facebook for whatever reason, go to BillyBourbonMusic.com because I will put it there. <laughs> also, one last message before one last little commercial before I get into the music. Uh, I have a show. It's called uh, Billy Bourbon's Live, Living the Dream. And it's about musicians that keep playing past a past a certain age and keep playing and keep playing because basically we can't do anything else. And uh, and we got some really good songs coming up, and I, I got a really good songwriter coming your way too. Uh, my good friend Vito Cole from uh, from Nebraska is uh, got he's one of the best songwriters I've ever been around, and uh, and he sent me a couple songs, so I'm going to feature those next in in the show next week. So. Or, when it, whenever the show comes together, I should say. And uh, so anyway, oh, t and Terry, Terry is uh, doing well too. Last I, last time I talked with him, he's up in uh, whatever town his mom lives in, and, and he's hanging out with her and everything, being safe and, and hunkering down, as they say. So all the guys in the Mandela effect are doing fine. Thank you for all you guys for uh, being concerned. I really do appreciate that. I want to try an experiment before I start here too. I want to see if I can watch this on my phone while I'm filming it with my computer. Because I think that would be really cool. Last time I talked with him, he's up in uh, whatever town his mom lives in. And, and he's hanging out with her. <laughs> I'm just a little bit behind, it looks like, on my thing. down, as they say. So all the guys in the Mandel. Well, anyway. So that was fun. <laughs> I kind of like that. Let's see here. Give my... Keep my keep my keep my crib notes just out just out of the sight of people. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is a song that I, I often start the band with. I've often I've started mo a lot of my bands with this song. There's like three songs that I probably you probably every guy's ever played with me go, he's gonna play one of those three songs. So here's this one. <laughs> Singers, we got gold fingers. We're loved everywhere we go. We sing about beauty and we sing about truth. Ten thousand dollars a show. We take all kinds of pills to give us all kinds of thrills, but the thrill we'll never know. It's the thrill that'll get you when you get your picture on the cover of the Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones, see my picture on the cover. Stone by five copies for my mother. Stones in my smiling face. On the cover of the Rolling Stone. I got 
got a freaky old lady named a cocaine Katie, embroideries on my jeans. I got my poor old gray-haired daddy driving my limousines. Well, it's all designed to blow our minds, but our minds won't really be blown. Like the blow that gets you when you get your picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Rolling Stones, my picture on the cover. Stone by five copies from my mother. Stones in my smiling face. Cover in the rolling stone. We got carload after carload of teenage groupies that'll do anything the bird says. They got a genuine Indian guru. It's pointing us the better way. We got all the friends that money can buy us so we never have to be alone. Well, we keep getting richer, but we can't get our picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Rolling Stones, in my picture on the cover. Stone by five copies from my mother. Stones, in my smiling face. On the cover of the Rolling Stone. On the cover of the Rolling Stone. Stone baby just smiled and waved and said, Hey mom, how you doing? Y'all right? <laughs> oh yeah. enjoying your favorite beverage wherever you are you can say that's kind of the interesting thing about this you know you can just sit down and listen and you're not in a crowded bar there's not drunks bumping into you and you know, strangers trying to get your attention you just sit you just sit and watch have a cup of coffee have some cucumber sandwiches <laughs> so anyway during this uh during this quarantine by the way i got i got my uh Got my uh, official quarantine 2020 bathroom emergency roll. It's going to eventually make it back up up here into the into the trophy case. But for right now, we're we're just keeping it on the set of the of the Billy Bourbon show here. <laughs> People have been asking me what what's behind me here. So 
my dad is a is was a fishery scientist for the state of Iowa for his, his most his whole career, and uh, he took care of uh, lakes and, and rivers all over southeast and central Iowa, and all the way over to the Mississippi and uh, and towards the end he was assigned to a place called Lake Darling, and uh, he he worked there the majority of his career and took care of that and ended, and uh, he he collected fishing lures and fishing items people would give him stuff and when people started hearing about it he collected more stuff and then he was also an antiquer and so him uh, him and my mom would go out and get stuff and anyway, so they'd buy all kinds of stuff here's one for instance uh, this is uh i bet this would get some fish this is a a maryland monroe fishing lure it's got a treble hook sure sure to catch something <laughs> maryland monroe mm. Oh, oh, I think you fishy, fishy, come to me. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so that's just one of the items in my dad's trophy case there. And uh, he said I had to pay him a, I had to pay him a, a royalty for getting for using this set. So hope it helps. <laughs> So in this quarantine, we've been, I've been in a real a, a productive mood writing songs and such. And I got a new one. I, I think I did play it the very first, like the day after I had written it. And so I think I've got a little bit more down. And uh, Tom, this is one of the songs that I was telling you that Tommy and I are working at over the, through the internet, which I think is just kind of a, the coolest miracle in the world that I can have him play lead guitar on a song that I send him and he sends it back. I, I, it's just cool. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, this song is gonna. This song is gonna call "Gotta Quit Fighting." What's gonna become of us? What's gonna become of us if we don't quit fighting? Times can we walk the edge? How long can we walk along the edge without falling? Do you think we can? When we reach out, hand gets stopped away, it won't reach out again. No way out of this hole, we don't quit digging. When a loving heart gets turned away, it's love will never be the same. When you play to lose, that's how you lose the game. Yeah. You said the shark is dead, let's take our stuff. Yeah, and just go our separate ways. Leave it all behind. Guess when you're through. That's what you do, but you know it just seems like such a waste of time. Yeah. When a reached out hand gets slapped away, it won't reach out again. No way out of this hole if you just don't stop digging. When a loving heart gets turned away, Never the love the same. You play the lose, that's how you lose the game. When you play the lose, that's how you lose the game. When you play the lose, that's how you lose the game. Ah, just a little thing I'm working on. Just a little thing I'm working on. Well, you know, uh, I forgot to do this last last week when I was on, or last time I was broadcasting or whatever, whatever is podcasting, vlogging, whatever it is we're doing here. I forgot to uh, do a little, a little prime. Since we, since we lost John Prine, this is the one I always did. I 
I woke up this morning in my head. Well, this is embarrassing as hell. <laughs> I haven't done this song in so long, I forgot the words to it. My God. I guess I should have practiced. <laughs> That's just terrible and embarrassing. Here, we'll do this one instead. I got the words in front of me on this one. When I got up this morning, things were looking bad. Oh, total silence was the only friend I had. Bowl of oatmeal tried to stare me down and won. Oh, twelve. It was before noon before I realized I was having no fun. But fortunately, I have a way to escape reality. You might see me tonight with an illegal smile. It don't cost very much, but it lasts a long while. Won't you please tell the man I didn't kill anyone. I just want to have me some fun. Time to check my bankroll. It was getting thin. Sometimes it seems the bottom is the only place I've been. Chased a rainbow down a one way street, dead end. And all my friends turned out to be insurance salesmen. But fortunately, I've got a way to escape reality. You might see me tonight with my illegal smile. It don't cost very much, but it lasts a long while. Won't you please tell the man I didn't kill anyone. I just want to have some fun. I sat down in my closet with my overalls. Trying to escape all these ears inside my walls. I dreamed the police heard every word I thought. What then? I went to court and the judge's name was Hoffman. But fortunately, I have a way to escape reality. You might see me tonight with an illegal smile. It don't cost very much. It lasts a long while. Won't you please tell the man I didn't kill anyone? I just wanna have me some fun. You might see me tonight with an illegal smile. It don't cost very much, but it lasts a long while. Won't you please tell the man I didn't kill anyone? I just wanna have me some fun. So there, there's some John Prine for you. <laughs> I, I thought I remember the other one. I, I've done it a million times and I just mind blanked on it, but that's how it goes when you get old. That's why that's why us old folks have these uh, pads in front of us to remind us of stuff. <laughs> how are you all doing out there? Hope you're doing fine. Uh, we're just trying to keep it together here around the old bourbon household. If you have the ability to and you're interested and you want to help us out, keep it, keep us broadcasting, keep us uh, above water, uh, keep the lights on. Tips to PayPal, billofbourbonmail at gmail.com, or you can become a Patreon member, and heck, we'll do all kinds of things for Patreon members. We'll take requests, we'll write special songs for them, you know. I mean, we'll do, we'll, there, there's not much we won't do for them. Then you came to me and said, 
You didn't love me no more. That was the shot that knocked me right down to the floor. I won't be bringing you roses anymore. Won't be letting you sleep lay blind tiptoe across your floor. Won't get you another drink. I won't run down to the store. I won't be bringing you roses anymore. That whole summer we first met, I remember best. Spent the whole night talking, didn't need no rest. Roastless months in my apartment, I wish we could go back. Find the love we had there and get us back on track. I won't be bringing you roses anymore. Won't be letting you sleep late while my tiptoe across your floor. Won't get you another drink, I won't run down to the store. I won't be bringing you roses anymore. It's a bitter pill to swallow when love dies on the vine. Could we have made it if you'd given us more time? Guess it doesn't matter now. We said our last goodbye. I told you that I. But I'm really wondering why I won't be bringing you roses anymore Won't be letting you sleep late while I'm tiptoeing across your floor Won't get you another drink, I won't run down to the store I won't be bringing you roses anymore In, uh, up in uh, Norfolk, Nebraska, where I lived many a year. Raised my kids when they were little up there. And uh, I wrote this song somewhere in my 20s or early 30s. And uh, it's my first song that ever got played on the radio. And it's kind of a local hit up there because it's just stone ass true. <laughs> so here it is. Driving along, just minding my business when a car pulls out in front of me. Gets across three lanes of traffic and pulls off down the side street. It happened so fast I didn't see the driver, but there's one thing I can relate. As the car was pulling away, I saw those Pierce County plates. Pierce County plates. Pierce County plates, oh yeah. Oh lordy, the first number's 40, they got Pierce County plates. But I'm not saying Pierce folks ain't nice. I'm just saying that some bitches can't drive. And if you go out riding with them, well, they hope you come back alive. Well, then to keep your eye peeled for when you're driving in this state. Watch out for the big four road. Pierce County Plates. Pierce County Plates. Pierce County Plates. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lordy, the first number's 40, they got Pierce County Plates. 
I went down to Madison Town to get my license to drive. Trooper handed me a test form. He said, son, just take your time. I filled it out. I handed it back in. He said, you made just one mistake. Here where it says list the major road hazards, you forgot Pierce County Place. Pierce County Place. Pierce County Place. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lordy, the first number's 40. They got Pierce County Place. Pierce County Place. Pierce County Place. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lordy, the first number's 40. They got Pierce County Place. Pierce County Boots. Pierce County Boots. You know how you can tell when you're driving along with a Pierce County driver is, you know, when you're driving down and you go to make your turn, you hit your turn signal, and the Pierce County driver will say, What's that clicking noise? Pierce County Boots. Pierce County Boots. Pierce County Boots. That song was uh, uh, inspired, as a matter of fact, by a, a guy named Kurt Sotelo, who uh, some of you know who are watching. And uh, I should get a buck twenty-five every time I take a sip of it. And Kurt was up visiting me up in Nebraska, and I explained to him the forty-county plate because he didn't. They didn't understand why they all had different numbers. And I explained to him the 40 county that everybody thinks 40 county drivers are crazy. He just thought that was hilarious. So that prompted me to write the whole song. Let's see if I can do this one. This is a this is a Kurt Sotelo song. Kurt Sotelo, and yes, damn it, Kurt, I do miss you. <laughs> Taken from us too soon, too soon, man, too soon, too soon.
quit smoking. What the hell are you smoking for? Quit smoking. Quit smoking. Smokers always gotta have one more. Without a cigarette to smoke any brand, yeah, you know it's completely out of hand. Yeah, they'll smoke, puff the lives away. It's the OP Brotherhood, man. You got one for me today? Quit smoking. Played this, played this for me while I watched him play it, and then played this while I was playing him, playing it with him many a time. Now, last time I was playing, one of my friends complained that I was out of tune and it was hard to play along with me. So let me make sure I got this all going on here. I think I'm pretty close. Thank you, Mr. Kavami, for for showing me this song and introducing me to this group of uh, songwriters. Do up all your dishes, make note of all good wishes. Say goodbye to the landlord for me. Some bitchy always bored me. Throw out them maily papers and box of moldy vanilla wafers. Adios to all this concrete. Go and find me some dirt road back street. If I could just get off of that hilly freeway without getting killed or gone. Down the road in the cloud smoke for some land. But I ain't bought if I could just get off of that LA freeway without getting killed or gone. Say 
thinking about old skinny Dennis. He's the only one I think I will miss. I can hear his basement singing, sweet and low like the gift he's bringing. Go on, play it one more time now. Go on, give her all you got now. I believe in just what you're saying. Come on, it's time for playing. If I could just get off of that LA freeway without getting killed or gone. Down the road in a cloud of smoke, there's some land. I ain't bought if I could just get off of that LA freeway without getting killed or gone. In that old front door lock, they'll find it likely as not. The long jump that we have forgot. Oh, Susanna, now don't you cry, baby. Love's a gift that surely handmade. We got something now to be leaving. The moment it's time for leaving. If I could just get off of that LA freeway without getting killed or gone. Down the road in a cloud of smoke for some land. But I ain't bought if I could just get off of that hilly freeway without getting killed or caught. Freeway. <laughs> Somebody requested that song. Huh? Well, since it's the internet and we can say anything we want, <laughs> moms, take your children out of out of out of the, out of the room, please. Forty below, got a heater in the truck, but I don't give a fuck because it's off to the rodeo. Now let me left and now let me right, come on, you fucking let me get your ass step right. Get off stage, you goddamn fool, you know. You piss me off, you fucking jerk. Get on my nerves. Here comes Johnny, he's a one ball man. It's, they got a plan another rodeo. Well, I'm looking left and I'm looking right. Come on, you're thinking I'm gonna get your ass dead right. Get off stage, you goddamn fool, you know. You piss me off, you fucking jerk. You get on my nerves. <laughs> First time I ever heard that was at the at the the uh, fireside lounge. And, and Warren Frerich sang that. And I, I thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. So I blame him. I put in, he put me on the path. Sales cocaine. 
the time. He says, I'm the charge. He says, here you're 24, boy. That's plum impossible. You look like you could be 45. by the Reverend Gary Davis. Uh, I, I learned it from the Jackson Brown uh, Running on Empty album, like a lot of my contemporaries did. And when I was down in Houston, I actually, uh, in downtown Houston, that's where uh, Scott and uh, Maine are. So uh, I got to go down Scott and turn up Maine. It was kind of kind of fun for me anyway. <laughs> I got to turn this other camera on again. So just one quick moment, please. I'll be right back. All right. We are once again recording. So let me quick, since I, like I said, since I just love doing this, it syncs, it's, it makes it easier to sync the cameras together. So take uh, two. <laughs> I don't really need to do it. I just got the thing. <laughs> Come on, let me have my fun, man. Let me have my fun. See, I got a capo here for a reason. Let's try it out on the song. Let me say, see if, see if the guitar wants to be in tune today. She wore it for a little while, and now she don't wear it no more. I got a diamond ring in my dresser drawer. I got a trusting heart. I wear out all my sleeves. So much trouble, so many times before. I keep it next to my diamond ring in my dresser drawer.
at 45 in my dresser drawer keep it next to my trusting heart and the ring she don't wear no Love to hold it up to the light Love to see that barrel shine I'd have so much less trouble Lift it all behind I got a diamond ring In my dresser drawer I believe the songwriter's name on that one is a uh, is a uh, Mac McClarty, but I I'd hate to misquote, but I think I'm pretty sure that's the name of the songwriter on that song. <laughs> I've been doing this every Sunday at four o'clock, except for last Sunday when I was not feeling so well. But uh, we, we've been uh, trying to replicate some of the jam experience. Now, Tommy uh, Bruner and I have been talking about doing a Zoom thing. Now, it wouldn't we wouldn't be able to broadcast it live, but it would be able we would be able to put on a presentation where we're playing together at the same time over the internet. So we'll we'll look into that and see if we can me measure out something like that too over the next week or so. We're uh, we're putting that together. That's one of our, that's one of our things we're doing. So, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Across the desert on his horse, leaving a little behind him, of course. He has no one he can call his own. Goes by one name, the Cotton Stone. Stone's been around for a long, long time. See men live, and he's helped other men to die. Stone is a gunfighter and killer by trade. Few of them mistakes that Stone has made. Oh, Stone the Killer goes by just one name. Stone the Killer killer was his name. When Stone was younger, he just killed for fun. Then he found he could get paid for shooting his gun. You don't want to be the one at which stone fires. Yeah, he's gone miles and miles. Stone's got a reputation for the wind. He's gunned down a dozen men that have come in. Stone always walked away. He's the best. He left them all there like the rest. Oh, Stone, the killer goes by the swamp. Stone's getting older now and knows it. Can't seem to draw his gun quite as quick. Stone don't want to die by no young man's gun. Yeah, he's heading across the desert to the set sun. Stone don't want to see no man in the ground. Heading across the desert to a sleepy town Hanging up his guns and he'll fade away Let some other man pay the price that must be paid Oh, Stone the Killer goes by just one name Stone the Killer Killer was he Oh, Stone the Killer goes by just one name Shaky hand, been to 
by himself what no one else could do. Yeah, he had no one to love or to love him. Poor old fool. Poor Storm Killer goes by just one name. Storm Killer Killer was he. Stone the killer goes by just one name. Stone the killer, killer was his game. <laughs> that song was a, a part of us. That was song was going to be a, a part of a, a what do they call it an album that has a theme, a theme album or something, and all, where all the songs are linked together, and uh, me and Dirk Armstrong wherever you are Dirk Phoenix Phoenix Arizona last I heard you know he, we were going to do a whole album maybe we should now we still could now now that we can send tracks over the internet we should do that if anybody knows how to get a hold of Dirk Armstrong send it my way. He's one of the greatest songwriters I have ever been around. Besides Vito Cole, who I told you about earlier. But Dirk's one of them guys that can take the same damn three chords and write 20 freaking fabulous songs. And that's how I feel about that. <laughs> here's, the, here's the first blues song I ever wrote. Say I was young and horny. Well, those thighs you have, baby, I wish they'd walk my way. Well, those thighs you have, baby, I wish they'd walk my way. you go. (laughs) 
Hey, it's, oh, it looks like it's coming up on five o'clock. I'm just about ready to wrap this baby up. Thanks for listening. Appreciate you tuning in or and telling your friends. Uh, save it. Uh, uh, you can uh, check it out on the. It'll stay up on my Facebook page for however long they leave it up there. But I will also have a copy of it over on my my personal web page, which which is Billy Bourbon Music dot uh, Billy Bourbon Music dot com. Billy Bourbon Music dot com. Billy Bourbon Music dot com. And that has a, a lot of the things I do are on that page. Uh, the living, living the dream show, the episode, all the episodes are available there and uh, you can watch that and you can watch these presentations, these live presentations, the recordings of them that I've done and also other little clips of stuff from, from other people that I've recorded and put on there too. So we, we, we kind of like keeping, keeping the living the dream. We like to keep the dream alive. If you know what I mean? Speaking of keeping the dream alive, if you can, and you and you you haven't lost your job, and you and you have the you have the means. Please do support musicians. There's a bunch of us out here who are, this is all we do, and uh, we we would appreciate it. Uh, my my place is Billy Bourbon Mail at Gmail. If you go to PayPal, Billy Bourbon Mail at Gmail, and if you want to go to Patreon and become a Patreon member, and just look up Billy Bourbon in, on the Patreon.com, and uh, we would love to for you to do either of those things, but we're not gonna you know pounded into the sand so i want to mention a couple of other people on the internet that i just love okay mr tommy bruner is uh is uh, in the band mandela effect with me who would normally be, normally be playing in cedar rapids right now but uh we we're all keeping our social distance tommy bruner is a great singer songwriter and a video maker and uh, and uh, he, he and i share a lot of a similar interest and he's he's been in a, in a songwriting frenzy as well so we're having a good old time so check out tommy bruner on youtube that's tommy b-r-u-n-e-r also another guy to check out on facebook he, he's going as willie wilhite now willie wilhite W-I-L-H-I-T-E, Willie Wilhite. He's one of the best guitar players in Houston, if not the best. He's one of my favorite, my favorites. And he does he he the thing I love about James, James he can he can play anything. <laughs> That's what I love about the guy. And uh also uh if if you didn't see it last week, I put a promo in about it. Uh the Mighty Orc was doing a live thing, and the Mighty Orc is Again, another another stunningly talented guitar player. He's very blues oriented. And he plays with a plays with a lot of different guitars, and he plays electrified. But he has got it down. He's been he's doing it doing what he what he does. And he's got some great albums out there too. As does Mr. Wilhite. So check out there if you want to support a musician. You don't want to go through PayPal or that kind of stuff. Look up their stuff on uh, CD Baby or on Amazon.com and 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 buy an album. Then you, then you so you help support the artist and. You get something back in return. All these guys would appreciate it, I know. So, also, uh, my good friend, Mr. Guy Schwartz, his album, new, newest album just dropped, and I am unfortunate that I'm blanking on the name of the brand new album. I should have it here to hold up, but I don't. I'm sorry, Guy. I, I will get it next time. But go to GuySchwartz.com, and I'm sure you can find, find it and or go to his Facebook page because he likes to promote, and he's got a great new album. I, I've heard it. I've got it. I just don't remember the title. I'm very sorry, guy. I, I I didn't I didn't learn as good as I should have. <laughs> so those are all the credits. Don't forget to watch "Live in the Dream." My late my last guest, uh, latest guest on episode six is Mr. Randy Meadows from Houston, Texas. He's a great singer songwriter, and he does. He's also doing a great uh, live show. His uh, his live show is. Uh, Check him out on Facebook, and he has a, our friend Bad Bob, who is an extremely uh, good fiddle player and also quite a dancer. So, <laughs> watch it, watch, watch the live feed. You know what I mean? That's the Randy Meadows show on Facebook. Be a friend him up and, and check it out. I don't know when his next show is. I should uh, check with him and, and have that information next time when I start bragging about all these people. So. <laughs> What else did I see on uh, some friends from Texas that I saw? Oh yeah, uh, Marsha Ball and Carolyn Wonderland were doing a were doing a. That's they, they were the ones I saw who were doing a like a Zoom meeting, playing together at the same time from different locations, and I, that's a, that's when I said me and Tommy Bruner are going to have to start doing that. So anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in. That's going to wrap it up for me. I'm Billy Bourbon, and uh, I'll be here next Sunday unless they lift lift the quarantine and. I get to go back and play the jam and then we'll see you all live and we'll give virtual hugs to everybody. <laughs> Thank you all. We'll see you next time.